reminder to subscribe if you haven't already and check out the guild and the discord while you're down there. Hello people and welcome back to a long overdue video I guess. I had this idea for a guide video for the shop but I just never ended up making it. Well, here it is. Uh, this guy will be covering the main functionality of the shop. Uh, the LR pass will be coming later. Uh, that's another guide video within itself as like there's that's just like a card analysis video probably So let's get right into it So I originally had the idea for this video because the shop has undergone a major revamp That is like, you know, maybe two or three updates ago now, but that's fine uh, The shop is divided into six main sections first off you got the Diamond shop, of course, where you can purchase the premium currency of the game. Then you have the gift pack shop, which has uh, various gift packs for the uh, current update. I don't think many of these are worth. The only thing I think is worth is probably like the 30 plus 30. I think I think that's the most popular one. Uh, you can also check this every day to get a free item gift pack. Inside you'll find one XP bottle, which provides you uh, 1.5 times XP when you use it as well as a coin ring which provides you 1.5 times coins when you use it to clear a stage. You can go over the max with these. <clears throat> the max isn't that strictly enforced. It's fine. Below you'll find some random gift packs. Uh, this beginner craft gift pack, gift pack might be good if you want some extra crafts that like do some interesting things. But uh, I've gone too far in this game being free to play to uh, actually invest anything because now it's more of a matter of principle rather than what is worth it I'm like I'm just gonna prove that it's you're able to survive basically by not paying any real money next section is the element shop this is rather new this has been revamped uh, for materials you get like a bunch of stuff you can exchange for some notable ones are of course the mystic slimes which you can exchange for using your materials uh, up to a maximum of I believe 240 every month and then you get some materials you can purchase using tombstones in my opinion these aren't worth it like the uh, what whatever the series is called yeah the dim sum delicacies no they're not worth if you want some soul stones, you, you got some like extra small soul stones lying around, you can exchange them into bigger ones. And a mad head, for whatever reason. Uh, farming tombstones is something I don't think you need to do nowadays, except for maybe like these, well, these cards. Sorry, the, the top five right here of the uh, elemental instruments. Uh, I personally have timpani and actually nobody else yeah I haven't seen anyone actually use these cards they aren't that good uh, you can look them up yourself the elemental instruments yeah but none of these are good enough to warrant farming tombstones for this is also where you would uh, exchange the sub jackpots in the current update of course the one punch man collab is going on right now so right now the exchange is between uh, Genos and Tornado uh, if it's a current patch, then the Arrow of Novelty stuff, you can you will be able to exchange for like a Lost Updates uh, subject pot with the current update subject pot with a Tombstone, of course. Sometimes skins pop up in the third tab. Currently, there are none. Uh, the fourth tab, orbs and others. This is a new thing. Casmic cubes are a new item introduced. You can use them to buy some other stuff. Uh, they're also in the shop. But you can exchange those with tombstones and of course you can redeem your orbs here as well uh, with your various cards i hate the ascension system so uh, i will not ever be doing that next up the fourth section is commodity exchange where the uh where you can buy some stuff with uh coin souls dragon ore and cosmic cubes um, this section you can right now I bought uh, the current like level up material toxic kiddo for the current series uh, you can buy some alpacas here as well uh, these aren't that worth it I mean it's like five mil which is you know it's not a lot of money but uh, the alpacas like aren't that worth it I don't think next up is the souls tab you can buy various cards here boiler man is quite good for Atlantis who is a 
like subpar leader, but I, I still use him sometimes, you know. Good, good to clear some like stages with a free team, so, considering Atlantis is in the Violet Asteri rotation. I will talk about that later in a future video. I like that's an idea that I'll rank all the Violet Asteria cards. But he is free in the Violet Asteria seal, so Boilerman is a good card to get. Uh, the rest of these guys, the Ethereal Dragons, not really that good. And this 72, 72 Demonic Spirit series is actually okay. Some of the cards in anyway. Uh, Astaroth uh, is a Dark Demon Time Tunnel. One of the two, I believe. One of the two in existence, I believe. So you should get one of him. Oh, uh, Vanlak is a Light Human Time Tunnel. Good to slot in if you nobody else. And the rest of these guys, I think, kind of suck. Malthus is not good. Uh, Marbus is not good. Stolas is not good. And Marcos, uh, no, Marcos is actually one of like the only elf cards that can stack clear. So this is probably the best card of them all. I've used Marcosius way more than any of these cards. So if there's one card you want to get, it's Marcosius. And Vepar is just a bad card with an unreliable dodge. You can also purchase baby harpies here, although you can get baby harpies through more efficient means in my opinion, like cheaper prices, stuff like that. Uh, you can also get your stamina cans, your spirit cans, and your vigor cans here. Uh, hey, actually, I'm going to purchase this right now. Stamina cans are great for, like, souls for stamina cans is a great deal in my opinion. The rest of these cans, not so much because you don't really use spirit or vigor. I mean, you, you do use vigor in the arena on a daily basis, but spirit, like, you, you don't. I have, like, how many of these do I have? I have, like, 28 of them. Right. Uh, next up is Dragonors. You get these by decomposing your cross, your drag, your draconics, as I like to call them. Uh, you can purchase these uh, seals in here if you run, ever run out, like silver seals, uh, silver pandas. I think, I mean, most like most people just use the silver seal, right? Chaos's draconic is just so good. So yeah, this is where you you'll be able to purchase more silver seals if you run out of them. These also refresh every month by the looks of it. Not too sure about that. And finally, that's the Cosmic Cubes. It's a complete overhaul of the previous system where you would exchange specific PR materials for other ones. Now, if you want it, you could theoretically decompose your entire uh, you know, PR material collection. Each one turns into 500 uh, Cosmic Cubes. And then you could just come here and exchange them as you please uh, with no extra cost no no gold cost as well uh, back in the old days if you remember like there was a extra gold cost obviously not a lot but since like everyone has a ton of coins now but yeah this is this is i think this is a good change you don't need to like tab in a like a ridiculous amount of uh, menus to get to what you want next up is expansion same as like the other tabs it's just using diamonds to uh to, like it, it, it's same as you know it was before right you use diamonds to expand various things and you can also recover your stamina here although it'll like pop up if you run out of stamina and last and definitely not least is the lost relic pass also known as the diamond mine it's where you purchase stages with gold basically you purchase stage entries with gold and then you can just farm whatever cards stage clearances in here also give you diamonds i'm working my way down here uh i will i don't even know if i can fit all these cards in one video to be honest uh i mean some of these are just trash so i might just skip them in the future but yeah here's where you can farm diamonds get like good cards and bad cards uh and yeah that is the shop guide uh earlier like in a past like I, I don't even remember what update it was but it was like the aria update uh her special shop popped up in here as well so sometimes special stuff goes on in here but yeah hopefully that was useful uh the main points here i think is go to the gift pack shop every day to get your free uh coin ring and uh xp potion go to the element shop to exchange like your orbs or your uh mystic slimes 
go to the commodity exchange every once in a while to buy like whatever the hell you want you know check up on it and then of course the lost relic pass the lost relic pass is is it's just its own thing all right uh if you found this video useful please give it a like if you have any questions leave it down in the comments down below and if you like this in general please subscribe and i'll see you in the next video see ya